Welcome back to Racing Geeks, I hope everyone's keeping well. So we just hit 100 subscribers on the channel and um, yeah, thanks guys for the support and let's keep going into 2021. So today I'm doing a wee service on my FN2 Civic Type R. It's just a wee small oil and filter change so I'll kind of run you through the products that I've got. So firstly, we have a cabin filter. Uh, so this is the pollen filter that we will be changing. We've also got an oil filter. So this is a Bosch one. So both of these are both Bosch filters that we will be adding into the car. And we've got some synthet fully synthetic 5W40 uh, mobile super 3000 engine oil. And basically I went with 5W40 because it's a high revving engine. This oil will be a lot more uh, viscous at higher temperatures. So considering this is a high revving car, it's uh, you know probably the best suited oil for this car but i know that people use other types of oil but i'm using 5w40 today and yeah just a regular oil and filter change um i'm not changing the air filter reason being my car has the bmc air filter so i won't be changing that i'll probably do another video at some point on how to clean that filter so if you guys know any cleaning kits that are available i know there's a k n cleaning kit for the bmc and I know that there is also a BMC cleaning kit that you can buy online. Um, so if you guys know any cleaning kits, please drop me a wee comment and I'll order some up and yeah, do a wee cleaning video on the air filter. Um, today I might take the air filter out and just kind of give it a wee clean, but the main thing is doing the oil change and the oil filter and the cabin filter. So yeah, let's get into this. We've got the car jacked up, axle stand as well. Let's get going. So guys, you want to unloosen this cap for the oil just so that it breaks the vacuum so that the sump at the bottom so the oil flows easier out the sump <laughs> So this is the sump plug guys and it's recommended to change these um, after servicing the car. So I normally, I think it's a 14mm, that's what Google said, but I used a 17mm um, socket to get the bolt off, that's the washer in there. And yeah, now we're going to get into changing the oil filter. So right now we're just draining the, the rest of the remainder of the oil. And yeah, we're going to get the, the oil filter changed. Just because it's easier, we're going to take the front driver's side wheel off um, just so we can get access to the oil filter as it's in quite an awkward place. Yes guys, finally got the oil filter off. We used um, a hose clamp and an extension and a hammer to kind of get the filter off. It took a while, quite a long while to get it off, but we got there in the end. Uh, big thanks to my friend helping me here today. So this is the old filter. So this is a man filter actually. And the one I've bought is a Bosch. I don't know which is better, but it is what it is guys. We've got a Bosch new filter, so we're going to put some new oil around the seal. Yeah. 
finally. This is the BMC air filter in here. I'm actually going to pop that out. So, as you can see, it needs a bit of a clean. So, I'm going to order up a BMC cleaning kit or the KN1. Um, right now, probably what you're supposed to do is apparently soak this in water um, and uh, yeah, just dry it off and give it a clean. So, I'll probably do that today. But yeah, in the future, I'll get a proper cleaning kit and uh, just clean it out properly. Oops. Uh. <laughs> Oopsies. All right, okay, I've just, I've just dis destroyed this. Uh, as you can see, I've absolutely mangled that pollen filter. <laughs> All right, take a put the new one in. You guys, this has now been a few days since I've completed that service on the car, and the car's now running really well, really smooth. Um, it's coming into VTEC really nicely and the car feels pretty mint, pretty good. If you did enjoy that video, please drop it a wee like and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Uh, that was the first time I've ever done a service on the car, so it was quite a you know good learning experience. I learned a lot as well and yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it too. There was bits that were kind of difficult, just getting that oil filter off was just a pain in the backside. But everything else ran pretty well, everything else was pretty simple, pretty smooth um, and yeah. Uh, let's keep going into 2021. Thanks for all the support. We've just hit over 100 subscribers on the channel, and yeah, I really appreciate every one of you. And thanks, guys. Let's keep going.